Coach Jensen, you got uh, a lot of stuff on the walls behind you. I, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff everywhere on the walls, but what, what's going on behind you here? Well, these are all our All-American certificates. We've had 84, 85 All-Americans, 12 national champions. There actually is a Division One. We've had one Division One All-American when we could qualify. So this is a culmination of a lot of things. Basically, we, they moved our room around, and then eventually I said, the heck with it, I'm not moving every five years, This all this stuff, so I started putting it on the wall. So on this side is all the All-American certificates. The other side is all the platform pictures from Nationals. Podium shots. Podium shots. So, yeah. I think you might have to get a new office, Coach. Yes, I mean, this is the wrestling suite, and I think I'm going to have to move around here. And I'm the only coach on the first floor. All our other coaches are housed on the second floor here. And I told him I'm not moving here because I'd have the walls would fall down. And that's your current assistant coach right there. Yeah, that's I'm Maurice Zoom. Wright, our current assistant coach. He was a four-time All-American, our only two-time national champion. Placed at Vegas at three three times. He placed. Uh, what, and that's him to, on top of one another. One, two, right there. Yep, those are different years. He beat the same guy uh, two years in a row in the national finals. So. Yeah. Pretty cool, coach. Um, when you guys, how many, uh, a lot of programs have never had an Olympian. You guys have had how many? We've had three Olympians. So in the 56 and 2 and 60, uh, we've had three Olympians. And mainly because they, they, they were uh, coming out of the Olympic Club in downtown San Francisco and they had brought in Bill Smith and some great uh, coaches. And they were, you know, the, in those days, the AAU, they were AAU national champions for years. So, but, uh, yeah, we had three Olympians on the team. So. Where is this picture of you in front of that trophy holding that plaque? That is at, uh, that's in Stillwater. And that's the National Hall of Fame? National Hall of Fame, and that's the year we won it, and they, they, they misspelled my name on the plaque, so the, the kids said, hey, hold that up, because they were going to replace it, so. Did they? Yeah, they did. How can they, Lars Jensen, how is that hard to? Uh, I think they put O in. Um, oh, instead of E? Yeah, E, and that's like fighting words. I'm Danish. I'm not Norwegian, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's big fighting words. Okay. All right, uh, what would you say, who's your most successful wrestler in the history of the program? The history of the program would probably be, I mean, I didn't coach, but Jim Burke is our most successful wrestler. He's an Olympian, Pan American champion, and in 1965 became our first national champion in college division All-American. Probably, and, and he's the first one ever to place in the Greco World Championship. He's probably our most successful guy. Probably the most successful college guy I've coached is probably Mauricio Wright, our, my current assistant coach. Probably the most, you know, in most successful wrestler you've ever had is probably um, Morris Johnson. He was a national champion for us, Division Two, Pan American champion. He took uh, fourth in the Tbilisi uh, games. Tbilisi. Tbilisi, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's probably our most successful guy, and I was his workout partner. So he's. He, he actually originally went to Stanislaw State. They had a program. Stanislaw? State in Turlock, beautiful Turlock, California. That's <laughs> uh, in the south there. And um, transferred after they dropped the program. Came here, and I was his workout partner. His freshman year, I beat him four times. The senior year, I couldn't touch him, but I was his throwing dummy. That's probably our, my most successful wrestler overall, Pan Am champ, you know, Tbilisi, placed twice in Olympic trials, those type of things. He was third and fifth in the Olympic trials. All right. Well, I guess the only other thing that really jumps out at me here in your office is you have a Dell computer. Yes. I don't know what's going on with that, but <laughs> you have a Dell, and I'm, I'm a little disappointed. That's the only thing disappointing about your office. I'm sorry. All I'm right. Sorry. I'm not You're running out of wall space, but the Dell computer. Okay. Yeah. 